you guys have sent me this video a lot. I built a secret room in public. Uh, it's fairly new. We'll see how uh, this video goes. I don't even know who the YouTuber is. Jake Carlini. I don't know if it's a meme or if it's actually like a good video. And believe me, I've tried everything to find one. And well, I... But he's trying to recreate the fucking Harry Potter scene. He just runs into a dumpster. <laughs> the day I have a kid, I'm going to show him the Harry Potter I've tried movie. Everything. I swear to God, I'm going to do this and I'll film it. I'll fi I don't care if I'm off social media. I'll film it and I'll post it to my goddamn YouTube channel one. when I'm like 35. I'm going to have a kid. I'm going to get him to watch the Harry Potter movie. And I'm going to say, do you know that's real, right? We're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring a grocery cart and I'm going to get him to run into a brick wall full speed. <laughs> trust me. Trust Billy. Trust me. It's, it's going to work. It's, it's got to work. I think I'm better off just trying to build one myself. Okay, so building a secret room is going to be pretty tough. You have to have a secret door that leads to somewhere unexpected. And the secret door has to be hiding in plain sight, like a warp pipe in Mario or the wardrobe from Narnia. Now, I have no idea how I'm going to do that, but first things first, I'm going to build- Or you tell your kid to jump down a well and that it's a Mario pipe. I would never do that. That would actually kill someone. And he's going to be like, Dad, really? And I'd be like, yeah, son, come on, man. And then I'd be like- I've done it like a million times, just trust me. And then he does like a fucking Mario jump into the tunnel, falls all the way to the bottom. Now I gotta build a room that's big enough for me to fit in, but small enough for me to disguise. And once the room is totally built, I can bring it out to the public where no one will know that it exists besides me, which is super cool. To do, land on earth and act natural. Dude, what is he acting like he's an alien? Start a riot in an IHOP? You know that feeling when you're crushing it in Mario Kart and then you fall off the map, putting you way behind? Well, yeah. that's exactly- It's the worst feeling in the world. It's actually one of the most painful things ever, other than getting shot or stabbed or electrocuted or set on fire or drowning or frostbite or stubbing your toe or pulling back a fingernail or getting cut or a paper cut. But it's, it's up there. It's up there. It's up there for sure. Or pregnant or getting kicked in the butts or having a kidney stone or going into a coma or having a heart attack, or having a stroke, or falling to your death, or breaking your leg. All right, the room is finally done, and it's pretty sick, but this thing isn't very secret. In fact, it's kind of huge and obvious. So I gotta figure out how to, what's my line? How to disguise. I'm gonna figure out how to disguise this thing. What could I disguise my room as that would blend in with the environment? There had to be something, and then it hit me. A bush. There's bushes all over the place. No one's gonna notice a secret room if it's just another bush. So I quickly Yeah, they will if it looks like a fucking wooden box. How the hell are you gonna make it look normal? Hopped online and got some bush materials. Also, I'm not trying to be that guy. That is the smallest secret hideout ever. So while I wait for that to be delivered, I'm gonna start working on the inside. So every secret room has to have some cool stuff in it. Otherwise, what's the point? But first things first. I can't see anything in here. So I pulled out the old lights I used for my cardboard Airbnb. These lights have gotten me through some dark times. Get it? Boom. Wow. It is very, very bright in here. But it wasn't very comfortable, so- Yeah, that looks awful. That actually looks thoroughly unenjoyable. Oh, this is so much yeah, better. Yeah, this is a, pretty sure that's called a coffin. This looks almost like a coffin. Fall asleep in here. But that would be a that that definitely that rubber mat definitely didn't make this more comfortable. But amidst my confusion, I had a genius idea. I could use an air mattress pump as the air conditioner, effectively getting the cold air outside inside, just like the dude said. This would give me just enough airflow to survive the crazy heat when I take the room out to the public. But I was forgetting the most important thing: electricity. electricity. But the electricity was gonna have to wait because I got a package at my door that was going to change the course of time. It was time to get down to business. This is not gonna look real at all. This is gonna look like such a, an, uh, cause he, dude, he, for it, for this to be a genuine secret hideout, he would have to have this bush or this secret hideout looking bush next to something that looked exactly like it. So he would have to find the exact, like an exact bush that looked like this. He's not going to be able to do that. Yeah, room. and if somebody just said air pumps are loud as fuck. Yeah, dude, it's going to be like, like people are going to walk by and be like, what the fuck? The park was popping that day. With my bush in position, I was... Bro, you just put it in the middle of a fucking field. Put it next to something. Jesus Christ. That is so ass. With my oh my God. That is so noticeably not a bush. That is so noticeably not a bush. You didn't even put it on the side where the bushes are.
pushing position, I was ready to put my secret room to the ultimate test. I was nervous to say the least. I am officially in the park. I can hear people walking by right now. I don't think anyone knows I'm here. At first, I got a crazy adrenaline Bro, they rush. Bro, that looks so fake. Then I got bored when I realized that there was nothing to do in there besides play on my phone and take a nap. I was in there about 15 minutes when I realized I had made a horrible mistake. I forgot to give power to my air conditioner, and now there was nothing protecting me from the brutal Texas heat. It was 102 degrees outside, making the inside of my secret room 120 degrees easy. I tried to hold out as long as I could, but my body was dripping sweat and my brain was melting like butter. Dude. It was so hot in here. I just could Oh, that's disgusting. That is like so much sweat. Hold out any longer. You just get out of it. And just like that, I blew my cover. And it turns out I didn't have much cover to begin with because everyone seemed to find the bush pretty suspicious. Does this bush look suspicious to you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a weird looking bush. I think my best course of action is to hook it up to this car battery. But I can't just plug it into a car battery. So I'm going to need a power inverter, which is pretty expensive. But we've already spent so much on the lumber and the fake bush. But I had no choice, so I left to go get... Oh. Wrong way. I left to go get a power inverter, which basically just lets you transfer the power from a car battery to anything that plugs in. Oh my goodness. Now, before I spice up the inside, I had to fix this disguise. So it was back to the city for inspiration. Oh, is he going to make it into a dumpster? Dude, at that point, just get in a dumpster. Like, at, at that point, it, just make your secret hideout a dumpster. Of course, there was garbage all over the city. And if I disguise my room as a pile of garbage, no one will even notice it's there. No one pays attention to garbage. This plan was pure gold. And I was going to use this big trash can as a secret entrance to the room. And it was in that moment I realized I got myself into a pretty sticky situation. I've spent so much money on lumber, the bush material, the power inverter. And now I destroyed a very expensive trash can. And I was about to destroy another one all to build a secret room not to mention i still how had is to he gonna make it look good but i had to make this the most convincing pile of garbage so the people of austin texas wouldn't know what hit him yeah but it's <laughs> squarish trash isn't square pretty sick now that i have my secret entrance i want to make this section look like a box that's oh so i had to do some arts and crafts and with a little creativity and maybe this actually could look good to the top of the room the illusion was looking pretty believable but then wouldn't trash people take your secret hideout because they would say it's trash. I was certain it was going to be a great day. That was until, of course, I opened up the door and realized something horrible. Oh. It was my birthday. Oh, I thought I he had didn't one. make it in time, and that is disgusting. A slice of watermelon with fucking melted candles in it. What the fuck is this? Time, but my childhood was gone. Over. Dunzo. I was too old to be goofing around. I was just going through the motions of my party, but deep down I was screaming in pain. I guess it was just time for me to grow up. I was heartbroken to say the is least. Is he gonna eat that? Jake, what's got you down, man? It's just... I thought I could get the secret hideout done by now, and now it's too late. Why is it too late? Dude, this is so fucking weird. Why is he talking to, a, like, a, a blow-up doll? And got so far, and in the end, it doesn't even matter what anyone else thinks but me. It was my dream to build this secret room, and nothing was going to stand in my way. This was going to be the coolest disguise any hidden room has ever had. And yeah, but inside, how are you going to fucking transport that? It was going to be even better. I was going to install a TV and a Nintendo Switch so I could chill and play video games in peace and quiet and no one would even know I was there. It was going to be my own secret hideout paradise. Oh, I was okay, so that excited. Okay, that is pretty cool. Okay, that is if I was if when I was a kid, I would think that's fucking lit. The nervousness was starting to set in. It's go time. I had to get in the room without being seen, so I had to move quickly. What is he gonna I saw run a break into it? In the traffic, and I took my shot. Without hesitation, I jumped in the secret door. Once inside, I saw the coast was clear. I did it. I made that it. That actually my... does look real. That actually does look like just trash. Secret room, safe and set. So you know. What oh, that that's means. actually so sick. If I was a kid, I would think that's the coolest thing in the fucking world. Think it's definitely I'm... still hot as balls in there. 
I don't I don't care what you say. A fucking air mattress pump is not going to make it that cool. In the middle of a public place and no one knows I even exist. I'm so happy my boy Jeff talked me back into doing this. I was literally having the time of my life. And no one suspected He's still sweating. I knew deep down. He's still sweating. It's because it's hot as fuck in there. My Dude, I want to see someone throw trash. That guy actually threw trash in it, bro. That means you think it's real. Dude, imagine though you open up a trash can and someone's fucking there. That is terrifying. I built a cardboard Airbnb. You guys want to watch that? That low-key scene.